Hey everybody, we're out here in northern Alberta and we're fishing for some tiger trout and rainbow trout. We've got a few tigers already, but I thought I'd take a minute just to show you guys how the new Humminbird Helix 5 with the ice transducer, this is the Chirp G2 unit. Um, I've had a few questions about how the flasher works versus the 2D sonar. And uh, so I thought I'd just show some people what it looks like. So this is a, an Acme tungsten jig fairly small as you can see we got a little piece of, of uh, cocktail shrimp on there seems to be what the tigers are liking today so if I drop it down there you'll see it coming down um, there it is showing up on the flasher on the left hand side there it's at 3.3 feet there um, and then on the right hand side it'll, it'll be on the 2d sonar so we're just going to drop it down to the bottom now keep in mind that's a pretty small little hook I know some guys probably use maybe a little smaller than that yet for perch but so we'll just bring it up a little bit there you can see it just off the bottom on the 2d sonar there you can see a little historical right here so that line right there that's the that's the jig down there as we twitch it there she is okay. now that's over here on the flasher so that's eight and a half feet on the circular flasher now on this unit you can switch to all 2d or just the, the flasher mode, whichever you like. Um, I kind of like having a split here because you see a little bit of both. Um, and I find myself actually watching the 2D a little bit more, so I might actually just change that over to just the 2D. But a lot of cool functions with this bat with this uh, unit. You see the battery life is here. It tells you how how wide your cone is on the bottom. So right now, given our depth, we got about a three foot circle on the bottom, which is pretty cool for that it shows you that. We don't have any interference rejection on right now because uh, we're not using another unit right beside it. Actually, we do have a Markham uh, VX1 over there. They seem to be getting along pretty well. We don't have any interference right now, so pretty cool. Anyway, hope that's helpful.